289 of single. Uh, there's a, a, a one woo right now. <laughs> oh man, the ups and downs of being a single guy. I think the worst part about being a single guy uh, has to be your diet. Because uh, like a lot of single guys in here, I eat horribly. I really do. Like this is how bad I eat. I buy craft dinner uh, and microwavable craft dinner. <laughs> You, you know, for those nights when cooking craft dinner just seems too arduous a task, you know? You know, I boil for seven to ten minutes, stir occasionally, who am I, Wolfgang Puck? Let's nuke this poison, right? Oh, oh you eat horrible when you're a single guy. Single guys in here, how about this one? Single guys in here, you ever pooed green? You ever pooed and then were terrified because you could immediately rule out vegetables as a culprit? That's right. I'm a 29 year old man Googling green poo at 1 a.m. This one that's either Lucky Charms or Cancer. That's it. <laughs> and I think it's because, it's because I can do this. Like, that's why I'm saying it's because I can do this. Talking to a room full of people, easiest thing in the world for me. It really is. But I get so shy and nervous, I screw up my pickup lines. So, like, every girl I got out with had to come up to me. And that's what happened the last one. She's like, you want to go out? I said, sure, let's go out. So we went out for a couple of months, uh, but then we broke up because we realized we're from two different worlds. Uh, and the day I realized it was the day we met each other's families. Because <laughs> you got to know this about this girl's family. Uh, her mom's a politician. Her dad's a university professor. Uh, she had traveled the world. They invite me over to their house. They have their own private library in their house. Uh, one of the books they have in their private library, How to Take Photographs of Exotic Fish. <laughs> okay, now let's cut to two hours later, shall we? She's at my nanny and poppy's meeting my grandparents for the first time. My Uncle Scott shows up unannounced, and at one point my Uncle Scott literally says this. He goes, he goes, he goes I don't care what them pigs say, I know the law, they can't step foot in my trailer without a warrant. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's destined to be, my love. <laughs> imagine if it had, though, imagine if we'd have gotten married. Oh my god, how entertaining would that wedding have been, huh? Oh my god, not, not one usher would ever have to ask the question, are you with the bride or the groom? Not one, no, no, all they would did say was, okay, sports jackets to the left, jean jackets to the right. Double-breasted suit, you're on the left, double-breast tattoo, you're on the right. Women wearing pearls, left, women named pearl, right. <laughs> So there's, there's things you miss about being in a relationship, man. There's things you miss about being in a relationship. Like, like girls, I love you. Uh, you're amazing. You're spectacular. You're beautiful. Girls should not be allowed on Facebook. Uh, uh, not, not all together, for, but for about two months after breakup. Because the stuff you write on there, a little ridiculous. I mean, like you got my friend Rachel. My friend, right here, boyfriend dumped her. So, the, so Rachel wrote this. This is, this is her status update. She wrote, she wrote, Ever since Derek broke up with me, my world has become completely filled with darkness and shadows. <laughs> That's her status update. Ever since Derek broke up with me, my world has become completely filled with darkness and shadows. Okay, folks, if your world is completely filled with darkness, that same world can't be filled with shadows. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You got